We've all seen the ghost face mask at the Halloween store, but what if someone was wearing one and chasing you with a knife? Would you remember all the tips in the four Scream movies? Or would you be like Drew Barrymore's character and get killed in moments? Scream 5 is coming to theater soon, so we'll help keep you alive if you find yourself facing this deadly threat. Here's how to survive the Scream franchise. Since 1996, there have been four Scream movies starring Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, and David Arquette. The four movies earned an average of $23 million during their opening weekends. Scream 3 made the most with $33 million. Combined, they earned $603 million worldwide for an average of $151 million per movie. Are you ready for Scream 5? This popular franchise tells the tale of Sydney Prescott and her harrowing journey to find the Slayer hidden behind that creepy ghost mask as he slowly kills the people around her. What do you need to know to survive like Sydney? How can the wrong words kill you? Why is partying deadly? Could your phone be the death of you? One theme running throughout the Scream series is the rules for surviving a horror movie. These five rules will help keep you alive. Rule 1. Watch what you say. We've all seen it in horror movies. There's a character who says, I'll be right back, but they will not come back, ever. In the first Scream movie, Randy gives everyone a quick lesson on how to survive in a horror movie. But everyone doesn't remember the sacred rule. It's never say, I'll be right back. A character gets murdered after splitting from the rest of the group, proving that rule. Push the laws and you end up dead. Okay. Rule two, trust no one. Typically, Ghostface ends up being the person you would least suspect. There can even be two of them. In that case, you'll need to survive long enough for the two Ghostfaces to turn on each other. If you can't wait for that to happen, take a tip from Sydney in the first movie and dress up like Ghostface. If you pretend you are one of the two Ghostfaces, you can trick them catch them off guard, and kill them. Rule 3. Fight back. No matter how scary that mask may look, remember that Ghostface is just another person. So anything that will kill a human being should kill Ghostface. But there are different killers in every movie, so they do not share anything in common other than them being psychotic killers. If you're going to shoot a Ghostface, aim for the heads. In the third movie, Ghostface wears a bulletproof vest. Shoot the head instead. Rule four, remember the don't list. There are many things you can't do if you want to survive in a horror movie. Don't split up with your friends. Don't go outside when you hear strange noises. Don't turn on your phone's location service. And don't even think about saying these tips if you want a chance of making it through this nightmare alive. Rule five, payback can be deadly. In the Scream films and many other horror movies, indulging in alcohol and drugs at parties can get you killed. The drunks and stoners are easy pickings. Remember, it's usually the people who have pissed other people off who get targeted. Every Ghostface villain attacks someone who has done them wrong and uses a stranger to help them. So to stay alive, don't tick people off. Speaking of angering the wrong crowd, what should you do if you find yourself stuck in a house with vengeful spirits? We have you covered right here on How to Survive.